Most networks will already use an authentication service to set user permissions, and these can be mapped to the smooth wall for use in your filtering policies. Google is a common authentication service, often used for Chromebooks. It defines the user's accounts and the groups they belong to. You will need to use the Connect for Chromebooks extension in conjunction with this directory type. Chromebooks are ideal for sharing, as user data and apps are all stored in the cloud. This allows a user to pick up any Chromebook, sign into their account, and access their own work and settings. The first step is to create a local group or groups in the smooth wall you would like to map your directory groups to. If you've not yet set up your local group, please see our video, Setting Up Authentication Policies, The Who. In order to set up a Google directory, you will need a client secret, or JSON file. This can be created on the Google Developer Console and can be downloaded to be saved locally. Directories can be found on the smooth wall under Services, Authentication, Directories. Here we see a list of any existing directories by name and type, such as Google. The status column illustrates at a glance if the directory has any issues. A green tick shows that all is well. If the smooth wall has detected a problem with their directory authentication, a red cross will be shown against the affected directory. Clicking on the Diagnose button below this gives more detailed diagnostics as to where the problem lies. The tick box indicates which directories are presently enabled. To add a new directory, click here. Ensure that the Directory Enabled box is ticked. There are a selection of available directory types for various devices and service providers. Here we will select Google. Scroll down to the Client Secrets File field and browse to find your JSON file. Click Open. In the Domain field, enter your existing Google Apps domain that you chose when you created your Google account. In this case, it is smoothdevs.com. Enter the username of your Google Administrative User Account. This user account must have the appropriate permissions. Ensure this is the account used to log in to the Google Admin and Developer Console. Click Add and your Google Directory will be added to the Smoothwall Directory list. With Google Directories, it is necessary to manually press the Sync button. This will download a local copy of your Google Directory groups and users. This is because Google limits the number of queries that can be made per day. If the directory has been added successfully, the status column will show a green tick. Hovering over the directory shows more options. Click on the Diagnose button under the green status tick to check the directory status details. To add or import a group from your Google group to the smooth wall, first click on the down arrow next to a directory name. Choose Add New Group Mapping. This will populate the available groups into a directory group list for the selection. Click the down arrow next to Please Select to view the full list. Tick the box to choose a group or multiple groups. On the Local Group menu, select the group that you would like to map to the Google group you have chosen. In this case, we will choose Students. Click Add to map your Google group to your Smoothwall group. Your group can now be filtered by the Smoothwall. For more information on creating filtering rules, please see our video, Creating a Basic Web Filtering Policy.